this one started. And into a sea of red, we're underway in Kansas City. McCall Hardman to return it from his end zone. And he returns this to the 22. And the Chiefs offense now ready to go to work for the first time, led by Patrick Mahomes, the 2018 NFL Most Valuable Player. There's nothing the league's best quarterback didn't achieve last season. Super Bowl trophy? Check. MVP award? Check. League leader in yards and touchdowns? Check. How does he top the season he had last year? I don't know. But Patrick Mahomes, he usually finds a way. Throwing at the outset, here's Mahomes. He's got this to the rookie, Rasheed Rice. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. An early statement on the game's first play. 18 yards and a first down. That's a good start to the ball game. Maybe a little bit of a tone setter offensively. They come out throwing right away, and it's an early completion and a quick first down. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. The throw for Tony is intercepted. Picked by Kevin Byer. And this one will be returned to right around the 38-yard line. Not something you see very often from a quarterback of his caliber, an opening drive interception. Oh, there's no doubt in my mind that even he's surprised at how that one played out. But we know this guy is not going to stop him from continuing to fire as this game goes along. Probably give a little nod of respect across the field for that one and let him know he'll be back the very next series. So here come the Eagles, the defending NFC champs, led out by a man who was the runner-up to Patrick Mahomes at MVP balloting a season ago. Of course, that's Jalen Hurts. And we already knew that Hurts was a good quarterback, but last year, he moved to elite status. Under his guidance, the Eagles returned to the Super Bowl and nearly won it. And he's also one of the league's most dangerous players, thrown for 38 touchdowns his last two seasons and run for another 23. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They go with a former Lion. It's DeAndre Swift. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there, second down. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. And his throw is going to be incomplete. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test him early. But it proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. They haven't made much of this great starting field position they had. Here's third and six. Throwing his Hurts. Inside the 15 before they drop him. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. And the Chiefs will take over here at their own 12-yard line. Charles, not only is that an interception, it's one when you were knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're at your thinking points. No matter what, at worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost them. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. Well, they were intercepted the first time they had the football, but now they get it back. And it's still 0 0. And because of that, you know what the thought process is? Interception. What interception? It didn't really happen because they gave up no points. So go back on the attack. Go back and run the offense you believe will be successful. Find your playmakers and give them the football. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. A dump down to McKenna. Two yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. From the gun, it's Mahomes. 
A dump down to McKinnon. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And now we've got a third down and three. Obviously, slowing down the homes is going to be a tall order. He gets the completion there, but it, what do defenses need to try to do against it? Well, as we saw in the Super Bowl against Tampa Bay, their number one goal was to get him to third down and long situations. Not third and manageable, meaning third and four or less, but third and seven or more. There were plenty of those situations because now you can unleash your pass rushers. And if you can get that going, get him pressured in the pocket, get him on the move, use those seven behind him to cover, that's how you can play Patrick Mahomes the best, I believe. That's a very nice game there. Confidence building run. Love the execution up front. And the way he pressed the hole, absolutely perfect. Mahomes now on first down. He'll get this one to Kelsey. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 23 yards, the final tally. And that's how you shake off the interception he threw on the opening drive, come back and throw another strike and gain nice yardage. And I give credit to two people on this one. The man throwing the ball and the person calling the plays. They're not shutting him down early in this game. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 48-yard line. On play action, it's Mahomes. Man open, that's Marquez Valdez-Scantling. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else he'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. From the 32-yard line now, here's second down and seven. To throw, it's Mahomes. Got an open man, it's Valdez Scantling. An agile move and a nice gain, then dropped at the 25-yard line. This will be the eighth play of the drive, and it's third and inches. They'll try for the first with Pacheco. They're able to convert with a gain of four. I always appreciate runners who understand situations. That was just third and inches. No reason to dance around in the backfield and try and break off a bigger play. Just go pick up the first down, and that's exactly what he did. Mahomes now on first down. And he couldn't get that one to his man. Short of him, it's low and incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. From the 21, it's second and 10. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. They haven't been able to stop them so far this series, but getting a nice little stand from their defense now. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Now here's Mahomes. He's got his target. That's complete. And it'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. No score after one on EA Sports. Second quarter from KC. It's the Chiefs in possession of the football. From the eight, they've got it first and goal as they've got it as we resume action. They'll run here with Pacheco. A good run, eight yards there, and it'll be second and goal. 
That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play, first level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle, and oftentimes we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. Pacheco once more, and I don't think he got in. He did not. They mark him short of the goal line. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit. And he's going to take it into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco taking it in from a yard out. And the Chiefs go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. So the second down run didn't work. They run it again on third down and get in. I wasn't sure if they might pass it, Charles. We know that they like to mix it up down here around the goal line. Yeah, almost felt like the offensive line said, forget mixing it up. Let's call our favorite running play over our best blockers, and let's get this one in. Extra point by Bunker is on target, and that makes the score 7-0. the touchdown. Here's Butker on to kick it away. And the drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone. So back onto the field. Here come the Eagles for their second drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football. Wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays try and go to those spots and get your offense moving try to shake off the interception he'll look to throw oh and Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground it was Leo Chanel who got in to drop him you can come from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy on that particular play it just came from the outside don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Now flags come in here. Looked like one of the Eagles might have moved. Not a great start to this drive. You had the sack, now the false start. I mean, it doesn't take much to either read lips or just imagine what the head coach is saying right now. Get your head in the game, guys. Let's go. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Hurt sets up to throw it. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. And this drive is almost over before it began, thanks to a great defensive effort. Sacked on first down, fouled by an incompletion. No more good rep, and they get off the field. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Hurts to throw. That is caught. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. This offense has been slow to get started, but that play will certainly give them a little bit of life. Maybe the late wake-up call that they had been seeking. The big play has them all the way out near midfield for a first and ten. Swift going to try up the middle. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Second down and eight. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. Able to avoid him at the 40. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 
12 yards is the pickup. Good for an eagle first down. How many times do we say in this game is speed kills? And it does it in so many different ways. In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty. Can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed. Not just outrunning people in the secondary. That led to a really nice game. Stopped and handed a loss by Willie Gay that time. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. They will run straight ahead with Swift. Busting through contact. Just wasn't a huge hole there for him to operate. Stopped just inside the 35-yard line. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to bring up a third and about seven left. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7 nothing ball game. So third down now. They need the 27-yard line for a first. Hurts. And this is going to be incomplete. The Kansas City defense tough to throw on there, and now it's fourth down. Well, how about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dive defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. The kick by Elliott is good, and they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. Well, in a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay with that, but let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner? Because the defense, hey, we didn't give up a touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gained something out of that drive. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Chiefs offense now making their way back onto the field. Well, this offense, Charles, remember the last time they were out here, marched it nearly the full length of the football field, and a lot of the attack went through the air, so now they're seeing if they can duplicate that performance. Okay if I show my age a little bit, partner, because I can hear my high school coach, John Ford. I can hear his voice in my head. Laddie, when you put the ball in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. But the way the game's being played now, this is just part of what they do. So I don't think they should change anything at all. They've been dominant and keep throwing it around. And he's going to be down at the 35, game of seven. But that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. Now Mahomes throwing on second down. And that one caught by Rice. Four yards the pick up, first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game at Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Mahomes to throw once more. He finds McKinnon complete. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. looks to throw on third down. He's going to get that 
to his running back out of the backfield. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to move the sticks with a gain of four on third and inches. Short yardage situation. You have to wonder if they thought that they were just going to run it inside. But you have to be cognizant of the back slipping out of the backfield trying to find some open space. And that's exactly what he does to the tune of a first down. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Over the middle, that's caught by Rice. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. Open man here. It's the tight end, Kelsey. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. Another 18-yard gain. They had 18 on the previous snap as well. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. Butker's kick here is good. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10-3. So a capper there to a pretty good first half. And I love the way that they put a chokehold on the clock and pretty much drained everything before they put the field goal on the board as they headed into the half. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, back to you, too, in just a bit. But first, welcome everyone to downtown Orlando and our EA Sports Halftime Report. We got a strong first half out of the running back, Isaiah Pacheco. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. It's the Eagles ready to see the football first, and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. The Eagles ready to go on offense to begin quarter number three. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. It looked like almost a miscommunication defensively because once he decided to keep it, he had pretty smooth sailing. Yeah, it became a question of, wait a minute, who's got the quarterback? And when you talk about miscommunication, it's supposed to be called assignment football on the defensive side of the ball, but the assignment gets mixed up. That's the end result. 
Chris Jones, the All-Pro, in on the stop. What an advantage having a lead guy to build a defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. Play action. Here's Hurts. That one complete down the field to Smith. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Devontae Smith, 66 yards. And the Eagles are an extra point away from drawing level. And he showcased his blazing speed on that one. Was he wearing football cleats or track spikes? <laughs> because he was gone. Big time play. And just think about what that does if you're a receiver on the team with him. Well, that's got to open things up for you as well because if I'm a defense, I've got to get back deeper and deeper in order to keep him in front. But I'm not sure how many can actually keep him in front with that speed. Elliott good on the extra point, and we are even at 10 apiece. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it was finished off by a touchdown from Devontae Smith. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kicks away here. And it's a pretty good return here as they'll get this up to the 29. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. Their halftime lead now evaporated. We're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago. And that shouldn't change the mindset a whole lot from an offensive perspective because they already knew this was going to be a hard-fought game. Now they just need to go out, execute their game plan, and keep moving. On first down, Mahomes. His throw incomplete. Everything looked right on that play except the conclusion. He dropped it. An in route going into a little bit of traffic. Maybe in the back of his mind, he was wondering where the hit was going to come from. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now Mahomes. Throw left side. Completion to Rice. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Here's Mahomes to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Excellent play there on third down. Give him 25 yards. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. and He's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, I, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. Ball on the 40 now. Here's a second and nine. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. That'll give him eight that time, and it'll leave him with third and a full yard to go. Pacheco gets it up the gun. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. It'll be a gain of six that time as it moves the chains as well. They had yet to run the ball at all. 
on this drive, but third and short, definitely was a great time to dial one up. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. He'll check this one down to Pacheco. They'll give him four yards there, and that'll make it second down. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way, and really we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. Second and six. Mahomes now to throw. That quick throw there is incomplete. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them, and not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they're going to have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily, fell incomplete. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Pass taken in by his big tight end, and they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up the first and goal. And that could be one of those turning point plays in a ball game. A field goal gets you the lead here, but they want to make a statement and get six points. And they're certainly going to get that opportunity as they get the conversion and set up first and goal. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. Mahomes going to throw. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Oh, partner, just a second earlier, and they might have had him because they certainly thought they were going to close in and drop him behind the line of scrimmage, but he had just enough time to dodge the pressure, and he ends up getting yardage before being stopped. Pacheco. Going to be hit and met at the line of scrimmage. They get him down at the three. Now we'll get a stoppage here as it appears we've got an eagle slow to get up. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to Arrowhead. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. They'll try and run with Pacheco. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. And the officials here are going to pause the game for a second. Looks like there's an injured chief on the field. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to KC. So on fourth down, Mahomes off, Harrison Butker on for the Chiefs field goal. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. Butker's kick here is good, and they will take the lead at 13 to 10. So a response there to the touchdown of the opening drive of this third quarter as they're able to reclaim the lead. And I think you'll take that because obviously you'd like to be able to match them touchdown for touchdown, but the first order of business was to get the lead back, and they've done that. Now you want to give a good pep talk to your defense to take it from there. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. This offense ready for their upcoming series as we get a look at the former Heisman Trophy winner, Devontae Smith. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Steps away to his left. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. 
You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid gain to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. Second down, here's Hurts. And that's going to be incomplete. Misses yet again, and the struggles here, they look pretty uncharacteristic for him. You're certainly right about that. Mechanics are the key right now. Feet, arm, not in sync at all. He ends up throwing that one past his receiver that's open. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. On third and short, they'll try option left. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. We have played three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. We're back now in KC. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game. First and ten here. Throwing his hurts. A beautiful fake. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. That's multiple times now. He's tagged them with a big gain with his legs. Really showing off some nice awareness and the ability to correctly realize when he's got a chance to tuck it and go himself. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 48-yard line. This is Swift on the counter. Tershawn Wharton, the one to get him to the ground on the defensive side. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. On second down, here's the option. Broken tackle. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. That will go for nine yards and a first down on the keeper. Well, that's the fear any defense has when the quarterback gets involved in the running game. You don't usually account for him, and he's hurting them today. Yeah, he's been very involved in the running game. Defensively, when you've got the coverage good downfield, how do you account for him, though? Occasionally, you start to spy him. Take someone who has the same agility, who can dance with him, run with him, and try and keep him in the pocket. Now, it'll be especially critical here as we come down the stretch in the fourth. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. 41 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. They held him in check in the first half, but that's his longest carry of the game right there. So would this be the definition of fresh legs since he didn't get much done in the first half? Now he has a great opportunity. He's taking full advantage of it. First down, and they go with Swift again. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. Can we just take that run and turn it into a kind of a clip and save? Because that tells you everything you need to know about this drive. They've been moving the ball awfully well. Now a second and six. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. That one good for seven as this long drive continues and the chains move again. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. On first down, Hurts. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit when he decided not to throw it on first down. But give them credit, they recovered in time to deny him the first down yardage. But it's only second and short, so that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. Here's Hurts to throw. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. 
Michael Dana just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. Yeah, some real defensive resistance there. Said not so fast to a good drive. They had marched to the end zone the last time out. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. The Arrowhead crowd in full roar. Here's third down. From the gun, here's Swift. This defense, tough to run against. And those linebackers, they'll go side to side up the field, and there they get them for no gain. If you can't get linemen upfield to the second level to occupy them, they have a field day just running to the football and putting ball carriers on the ground. Not many yards after contact when they wrap up like that. So a big, big kick coming now for Jake Elliott. From the left hash, a chip shot here. The kick by Elliott is good. And with a little more than a minute to go, we are all tied. So a big kick to get this back to even. Now the worry is, did you leave too much time on the clock? Because another field goal the other way, that does you in. You're exactly right. You didn't get into overtime yet. So now as a defense, you've got to think to yourself, you can't play prevent defense and just give up big chunks of yardage in front of you. But you also can't let anyone behind you. So you sit right on the line between the two play the best defense you can and not make it easy for him to move the ball downfield. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. Hardman going to bring it out of the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. Well, partner, here it is. They've got the chance to win the game. You'd have to think they need to get it near the opposite 40 to have a chance to kick a game-winning field goal. We'll see what they can do. And you're right about that because if we look at it in macro, that's what it looks like. But I think in micro, the head coach has already asked the special teams coach, what is he feeling? What does he think? Where does he want the football? What's the yard line we have to get? And he's already relayed that to his quarterback and his offense. They know what the goal is. Now the key, can they get there? Meanwhile, Mahomes throw here complete to Kelsey. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. I like what they did there. Still keeping their tight ends involved. They understand it's not quite Hail Mary time just yet. This is first and 10. Here's Mahomes. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 seconds to go in half number two. Here comes second down. Mahomes. Complete Valdez Scantling. Now another timeout called for by the offense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. But just a gigantic play here, both sides. This is third and inches. Mahomes. Oh, look at this. It's intercepted. Zach Cunningham with a pick. And to the 43. So down inside the 45 to the 43-yard line, that's where they'll take over. Well, we say it often, Charles, but not all interceptions are created equally, and that is a big one here in a tie ball game in the fourth quarter. And, Brandon, when games are this close, it usually comes down to the team making the fewest mistakes, and that was one of our mantras back at Tennessee. Coach Major say all the time, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. You've got to cut those down to give yourself an opportunity. They'll come up first and ten here. 
Hurts. They'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. Right now, everything resting on the right foot of Jake Elliott. This to almost certainly win the football game. And his kick is right there. It's good, and it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. So as it turns out, a two-play drive resulting in the field goal. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. One final try for Mahomes. Finding Kelsey. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. And a fun, close ball game.